felt good to finally be out there, you know, being on the sidelines watching and being in the training room and watching. Um, for me to finally be out there, it felt good to be with my teammates. Coach mentioned that you're on a, a minute restriction. Those last few minutes are, are usually the yep. that you're in there for. How tough was that? That was extremely tough. Uh, I wanted to stay in there. I wanted to remain in there. Uh, but due to the restriction, I could not. But the teammates held it down. Norman did a tremendous job. The rest of the team did a tremendous job and uh, put us in a position to win. Coach said he was happy with the compete level in the second half. What, what did you like about what you guys were able to do in the second versus uh, early in the game? I think we were more physical in the second half. Uh, we finished plays with rebounds. Uh, we were able to push the ball back at them in transition and score in the half court. But most importantly, we got stops. Um, limiting the Marcus Aldridge you know, touches as much as possible. Uh, switching and talking on the perimeter with, with screens and um, pin downs and just overall, just I, I thought our intensity was ten times better. Obviously, it's difficult whenever you have to watch and not play. But what are the emotions when the team is not winning while you're out of the lineup? Uh, for me, it's just trying to do whatever it takes to to help them out. You know, whether it's just talking, communicating, letting the guys know my thoughts, you know, on how they're performing and what they should do. Um, trying to offer um, as much help as possible with information and. Uh, from my perspective, from watching it on the TV, I have a, a different perspective than they do during the game. And just just trying to be a good leader, trying to be a good teammate. Um, I know I can't play, but there's some other things I can do at the same time. Have they given you any indication of if you'll be available for tomorrow's game? Uh, not yet. I'm um, seeing how it feels tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. Obviously, tomorrow is such a big part of what you guys do. How mm -hmm. much of an adjustment was that tonight to sort of find your spots as a team? With, with uh, I thought we did an okay job. Uh, I thought we held it down for the most part. You know, DeMar out there, he demands so much attention. It frees up a lot of us. Uh, but without him, it causes, you know, us to, you know, move the ball a lot more, pass, cut, share the ball. And I thought we did a good job. You know, Norman was phenomenal out there tonight. T-Ross stepped up. Corey Joseph, Bebe did great. And I just thought overall, you know, despite DeMar not being out there, I thought we, you know, held it down. Is there any reason to be concerned over these last few games, or is this just any other slump? Uh, I think it's just a slump. You know, we're dealing with injuries, guys being hurt, um, lack of effort you know, on a couple couple games, lack of effort uh, defensively and communication. Uh, there was a game where we were missing shots that we normally make. Um, but I don't think there's any concern. You know, it's still early. We're at the halfway point, so we still need to get everybody back healthy, um, focus a lot more on defense, but we'll be fine. We'll be good. That was the second half, the defensive effort, and the defensive intensity in particular. Was it dramatically different from what you've been seeing? Yeah, since I've been out, yeah. Um, but we have to play like that no matter who the opponent is. You know, Granted, it's the Spurs, so you want to play to the best of your abilities, but we have to have that mentality every single game, no matter who that opponent is, no matter what the name is on that jersey. We have to play the same way. But second half was, I think, Raptor basketball. Um, we haven't played that way in a long time. And us being physical, Bebe was out there contesting, blocking shots. Same thing with JV. Guards did a tremendous job switching, getting into their man, being physical, and that led to offensive opportunities.